Hey everyone, Chloe here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, ladies and lurkers and ear hustlers, welcome. So I wanted to unpack this very nice, nasty, and a very cringe spirit of confusion Facebook post. And please see the glaring irony of this man calling himself a life coach by the name of Solomon Bucci, who proclaimed in a very sideways, dusty and ashy kind of way, his love for his beautiful fiance in a way that will be triggering for any woman to hear coming from her fiance's mouth. So let's get into it. And the post went on to read in his words, you're not the most beautiful woman. Neither are you the most intelligent woman, but like I've chosen to never find perfection in anyone else. I put my gaze on you. And with that commitment, we would mold ourselves for ourselves. Our perfection is in our commitment. Stating that you are not the most beautiful slash intelligent might sound like it is not a compliment, but it is a realistic base for real love. Acknowledging that my woman isn't the best, but I'm not looking for the best. I was looking for you and I found you. There's no best. There's just someone you choose and see the best in them. This to me is the real love, not the one that consoles itself in the fake reality that their partner is the most good looking, most intelligent, most successful person in the world. That's disingenuous and doesn't give room for love to thrive. I love you. I'm committed to you. I miss you so much, but my love for you is stronger than distance. Now this post has since gone viral and Solomon has received a lot of smoke and unasked for opinions and the internet outrage was high and thoughts and feelings were polarizing and people are allowed to feel and are allowed to react the way that they want to react. But from a feminine perspective and from a womanhood perspective, which is why you absolutely need to like this video and subscribe to this channel, the energy behind this man's shady love profession is giving strong passive aggressive placeholder energy. And the post was pretty insensitive for a man who is looking to publicly declare his love for his soon to be wife. Ladies, no matter what you may look like on a scale from one to 10, and in my opinion, this woman is beautiful. But ladies, this is not how you want your man to put you on a pedestal. You do not want your future husband, the man who is responsible for protecting, providing, professing, and being a covering in his masculinity to express to the entire world that his love for you is lukewarm and mid. The fact that this man chose to focus on his fiance's shortcomings and not on what he loves, adores, and cherishes about her is indicative of an insecure man or a covert knock monster who either sees you as low hanging fruit as the path of least resistance or as a placeholder to be controlled and manipulated or as a good enough for now substitute for what he really wants. Also take mental note, ladies and lurkers of how he craftily highlighted her flaws and her perceived imperfections while revealing none of his own. So if his message was really about loving beyond our human flaws and loving his fiance beneath the skin, how did he cavalierly and so conveniently omit or leave out his own flaws out of the post. That boys and girls is the dehumanizing power of narcissism and low emotional intelligence. And that is what the internets and mainly women were reacting to. His words were not loving. They were energetically belittling, but in a very passively violent and in a very slick kind of way that cuts the woman he supposedly loves down to size. This emotionally unaware life coach literally chopped his fiance's tree down so that she isn't seen as special in the eyes of others. Ladies, your man is supposed to protect your mental health, not contribute to its demise. And he definitely shouldn't ever insinuate a narrative that says you're kind of ugly and slow, but I still love you deep. Now, whether that was his intention or not, clearly this man wants to position himself as the prize within his marriage and in a backhanded kind of way, he literally served up a message to the world that his wife, although accomplished, should not think too highly of herself, while also cryptically telling the world that he settled, which in many ways is a dog whistle to the world that if and when he finds an upgrade, he's gone with the wind. And as a cautionary tale, ladies, this post, and I am not equipped to diagnose this man, was most definitely narc in nature. So can you even imagine how this man could possibly engage and communicate with his fiance in private, 
Contrary to popular belief, narcissistic abuse does not start out with a bang. It is very subtle. It's like putting a frog in cold water and slowly boiling it. Narcissistic abuse is a form of grooming that slowly chips away and that whittles away at a person's sense of self until that person is completely broken down into ashes. And this Facebook post is indicative of a man who is not emotionally connected to protecting his wife's precious worth or handling her self-esteem with care. And sadly, this is a man who is calling himself a life coach. A life coach. I mean, if this is considered loving, how is this man going to even father his own future children? And a life coach is supposed to be emotionally intelligent, not emotionally disconnected or emotionally oblivious. And the same goes for any man or any woman who wants to be a husband or a wife. So as a cautionary tale lesson, ladies, to learn, don't ever let a man groom you into thinking that you're the lucky one and that he is the prize and the coveted carrot to be chased. Negging and passive aggressive put downs are the furthest thing from romantic love and a man who is in love with you would not even think in my opinion and go argue with your mammy to write such a disgusting and quite hurtful caption that tells the world that you are lacking in the beauty and brains department. But since we are on the outside looking in, only time will tell if this man is truly in love with his wife should this woman decide to follow through with this marriage. And here's to hoping that his fiance's discernment red flag went all the way up. And hopefully she has taken mental note of her fiance's capacity to be unthoughtful and insensitive at her expense. And she needs to be okay with the idea of this man being her husband for possibly the rest of her life. But this post should have definitely been left in the drafts. Solomon should have thought this one through. He should profusely apologize to his fiance and make amends. And he should have had the handle with care tenderness to not even expose his future wife to this kind of preemptive, humiliating scrutiny. So that is all that I have to say on this for now. Mr. Solomon will now be watched like a hawk by the internet's watchdog cousins who are going to navel gaze and pick apart from here on out every Facebook post regarding his wife. So whatever energy he had before he hit the publish button on this one, he needs to clean that up because as of now, it's giving full scale narc and low emotional intelligence. And they are never going to let him forget it because there is tremendous power and intention behind the written word. And as we all know, narcs and people with low emotional intelligence, and they are many, make for horrible boyfriends and girlfriends and make for horrible husbands and wives. Ladies, always remember, it is not what he says as a man, but it is also how he says it. So ladies and lurkers, would you marry a man who highlighted your flaws before he highlighted his love and adoration for you? Or should his fiance take a risk by walking away and by reshuffling the deck? Is the internet's minding its business way too much? And what is worse, ladies and lurkers, him saying it or her quietly accepting it all in the name of having a husband. And as always, stay tuned for more cautionary tales to come. And I will catch up with you ladies and lurkers and ear hustlers in the next one.